Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Leo Luca Crisione. I was born in Corleone and Crisione, Corleone, Salud. And I was born in 30 of August 1946. My my mother was Rosina, uh, she died unfortunately, and my father, they were, they had uh, each of six, uh, uh, two, two brothers and three sisters, and three sisters and two brothers, my puppy, Angelo, and uh, in, uh, when they came together and they married, they had uh, three, four kids, uh, my my sister Leah, she lives now in Sicily. Uh, then me, uh, Leah was uh, 44. Uh, I was born uh, 46. Then my brother 48, and um, the last uh, answer, uh, my sister. 50. So you see, my father, and my mother, they have a very, very good schedule. All two years a kid. Uh, <laughs> now. Then uh, when my father was uh, was working on the field, we had uh, we had uh, mm, uh, I don't know about ten uh, ten hectares uh, land, um, and we had uh, we had uh, fruits, uh, grapes. We had uh, we had also we had some. Uh, uh, kitchen. Uh, so we were we were doing well. We were doing well. Though, no. And then uh, by by about uh, uh, 1962-63, my father met his uh, brother. They tried to start uh, uh, activities. They were they were able to produce. Uh, stones to build houses and uh, because uh, after the the last war in Corleone then and thus in Sicily in generally people started uh, building houses and apartments so there was a lot of uh, request for this and uh, they had the possibility to do and then they asked the uh, government to help because they were they were able to, to have 30 people working. And at that time, uh, uh, in, in Sicily, having 30 people working was a very big, uh, uh, a very big event. So they asked the government in Palermo, and the, Palermo, uh, the government was surprised. They said, well, we will have 30 people working in Corleone. And they say, okay, we will help you also fi financially. And uh, okay, then my father say, uh, they say, they said, okay, you can start buying all the all the uh, devices you need, all the machines, what you need, and we will also inform the government in Rome to to help us. And then uh, my my father and his brother Andrea. Is also died. Bye bye, Andrea. Ciao. Uh, they started uh, hiring people, and uh, in within uh, because the unemployment was very high in Corleone in Sicily, more than twenty percent of the people were, were unemployed, and uh, they got uh, very soon uh, thirty people. They started uh, they some money back from our, our, our own. And then two two months later, they received a letter from uh, the government of Sicily, saying that uh, the government in Rome was unable to uh, to support financially, so uh, everything was uh, broken. And of course, uh, I was at that time. This was uh, 1964. I was uh, attending the. The, the school to get the, to get them to university, and uh, I, I wish to the, to become a, a physician. 
Uh, and then as this happens, of course, uh, I had to help financially my my family because uh, my father could not uh, uh, work because they had to to deal with uh, with the government about all of this story. So then uh, I I my my brother Giovanni and me we decide to to go uh, to Switzerland because in Switzerland and as in that time they were looking for people working so for various very simple works and then since uh, my we had uh, we had uh, in, in our in our street where we were living in Corleone we had uh, somebody working in the in Basel in Switzerland exactly uh, in the Ziba Ziba was an a very big pharmaceutical company and then uh, they said they are uh, said he was uh, on holidays in the in uh, for christmas we we uh, we contact him and say okay you can come because uh, they are looking for people they they need uh, uh, 200 people per week so we i stopped then uh, going at school my brother too and then we were after Christmas uh, on the on the 12th of uh, January 1965. We we took the train from Palermo to Basel. It was a very long trip, 36 hours in a very uh, a small uh, cab. Everything was from uh, very hard, but then we arrived. And um, this, uh, this, uh, the, the one person, Giovanni was his name, who then was uh, was telling us to come. He uh, come to the station. He took uh, us with him. We could sleep uh, in his uh, in his apartment. And then uh, three days later, we were presented to the company, and the company said, "Okay, yeah, you can work." But uh, my brother was uh, younger than 18, and then he could not work in Switzerland. So then uh, this uh, this uh, person they say, okay, we can try then in Germany because in Germany people who are 16 can start working. So we had uh, to divide ourselves. My brother and me, he went to Vea, a, a village close in Germany, close to Basel, about uh, 25 kilometers. And they, I remain in, uh, I remain then in, uh, in Basel. And then on the 2nd of February, 1965, I started working because my, my German knowledge was zero. I, I had English at the school. I had uh, Greek, uh, Latin, uh, because, but uh, no, no German. So I started, of course, also learning German. And then, as I was, uh, as, as I had uh, the, the school, the, the, the chef said, OK, you, Leo, you can go to the biology department. They are looking for new uh, medicine. They produce new medicine against the uh, diabetes and high blood pressure, uh, uh, ma many, many diseases. And you could, and then, and then you can, uh, uh, then you can take care of the animals they need for doing these experiments. I was, okay, this is very nice, very nice. I, I do this. I mean, you know, I, I had somebody who, who was uh, translating what I said. So on the second of uh, of February, I started, and uh, in this uh, in this uh, in this uh, department. There was an Italian from uh, Napoli, and then I could work with him because he was uh, able to speak uh, German. So I was uh, I started, and what I had to do uh, in details was uh, I had to clean the the uh, the there where the, these animals were living. So we had to to give to to eat, to drink, we had to clean everything. So it was a very dirty work, but I had to do. And I remember very well, we, we, we received 
uh, each uh, Friday we received the salary. And then when I received my first salary, I went to the bank and uh, give the 50% to my family in Corleone. So they said, oh, very, thank you, thank you very much. So this was, was all, but my, my intention was also to, to be able to conclude my, my school so that I could, in, in, in any case, go to the university. So during, during the day I was working, then, uh, for example, we had uh, lunch time. It was from 12 up to 1, one hour 30. So I was, uh, I was taking my books with me, and I was uh, learning English. Uh, no, I was uh, not, not English, excuse me. Uh, Greek or the philosophy, all what uh, was needed. And then I was, uh, then in July 1965, I went to Corleone back. I, I got uh, the permit back to Corleone for two weeks. I did the examination. I passed them. I came back and I continued to work because I could not uh, go to the university. So I worked. And then about uh, one year later, also my father was able with my mother and my youngster sister, they and my sister were able to come to, to, to Basel. And uh, I, and he was able to work uh, exactly in mine, in mine, uh, very close to me, and we were more or less together. That was very nice for us. And then, uh, because we were a family of six of six uh, persons, Ziba gave us uh, the possibility of uh, going into. A very new, uh, a very new building. We got in five rooms, uh, three uh, bedroom, and then uh, kitchen, and so, uh, and uh, we were able to stay there. And uh, uh, my mother, then, uh, unfortunately, then my mother, she she got uh, a tumor, a uterus tumor, and then she died. 1950, uh, no, excuse me, 1970, and uh, 28 uh, of uh, 28 of Gen of uh, December. So we were continuing, and then of course, uh, uh, 1976, attending the uh, the German uh, lessons uh, uh, given by. A professor from the from the from the Italy uh, embassy embassy in Switzerland, and one day the, the teacher was not coming, and then uh, my brother said, "Well, let's let's go dancing." We went dancing in a in a very nice uh, place in Basel, and uh, close to me, about uh, five meters from me, there were two uh, two young. Uh, Ladies sitting, we we were looking at each other. Then uh, I invited her uh, to to dance, and uh, 15 days later I was eating in her family. <laughs> so this was Monica, my wife. Mm -hmm. Monica, Monica is now 73. We got then uh, three kids, Marcella. Luca and Loris, they are 40, 40 and 40, they are twins, and then Marcella and they, they got now three kids, Eric, Eric, uh, uh, Loic and Corina, they are 17, 15 and 30. So this is very brief, my family situation. Then let's go back to my work, when then I come back with uh, with uh, uh, finishing my my uh, examination at the school, I was asked by by the head of the department to move into the laboratory where they were doing experiments with animals uh, for uh, decreasing blood pressure. So I was I went there and I started uh, helping at first. But then, of course, the the, the boss said, uh, "Leo, 
you you are so good and you have a nice uh, school uh, finishing you can uh, you can start uh, uh, learning uh, biology so you, you can do the experiment by yourself and so I started and actually my day was to divide from uh, from seven seven to eight in the morning up to 15 I was working then uh, I went to house uh, having uh, having dinner and then I went to the school from 19 in the evening up to 11 and this for three years and uh, then after these three years I did the examination and I became technician in biology and pharmacology so I could start doing my experiment myself and all these things and then uh, this was about say, uh, 1970 1970 yeah. but then uh, when I was finished then uh, then uh, Monica and myself they we married and as soon as we got married Monica told me Leo you you can go you can go to the university here in Basel and then I work and then uh, we can live with the, my working and you can study so that is what did I went to university and I started uh, studying in pharmacy because I wish to become pharmacologist and do experiments there where I was working earlier so then uh, 1971 in, uh, in in September I started in Basel in the pharmacy department we were about uh, 20 persons very few actually uh, I started and this I did this for two uh, for one year then at uh, by the end of the first year I was uh, called by the professor leading the group and say uh, Leo you you are doing well now next year you have to move to the pharmaceutical uh, laboratories but there we have only two two uh, possibilities per uh, four possibilities per year so you have to wait about six years be before you can continue studying i mean i was a little shocked but then i went back home monica say Monica this is the situation and Monica said no no problem no problem listen uh, you you can go to Italy to New York University uh, we go there we go to Italy and then you study and then uh, we can go back uh, in summer year and we work both and with the money we earn uh, during this uh, two three months we could live in uh, in the city in Italy but uh, I said I have only one uh, very important uh, topic I have to select the city where we go and then okay I told you there's no problem for me I need only university and then she said uh, Leo we go to Florence Firenze oh a very nice city so we moved about uh, two months then I asked him uh, I asked in Florence they said okay you can come there's no problem and the, I could start then on the second year again pharmacy we were about 30, 30 people uh, working so I started and then uh, I had uh, diff different uh, topics and uh, there was biology botanic uh, chemistry and then many physique um, all, all these things pharmacology of course physiology all, all of those the, the topic which are related to pharmacy and then I started we were going and then uh, Monica was attending their Italian courses they she was able to give the German lesson for, for noting to people who wish to uh, to go to Switzerland they work there so we we tried to do the best with our lives and uh, then uh, when I start then pharmacology uh, the about two months late the professor of pharmacology Franca Buffone was her name came to me and say Leo 
you you were you are uh, you are a technician from biology and we got uh, a request by the physics department they they have uh, they got uh, a very small uh, uh, a very thin thin very thin uh, uh, detector of uh, acidity in the blood and they wish to do experiments but we have nobody who is able to do experiment in animals like do like you so say okay i can do this there's no problem and then i started actually when i was in the second year of the study i started working on my doctor my, my doctor work <laughs> and i did this it was okay everything was uh, well I was also in the patent of this uh, of this uh, device. Everything went okay, so I I did, and then uh, uh, and then uh, uh, on uh, by the end of 1976, uh, I I wrote my doctor work. I presented this, and that's okay. We will discuss this in, uh, in 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 March or the April, and then let's see. And then uh, and then I finish all with my all the uh, all the all the studies. So I, I had uh, uh, I had nutri nutrition and physiology of oh, everything I said before. Every everything went well. Then I discuss my doctor work, and then by 17th of uh, April. I promoted to doctor of uh, pharmacy and pharmacology, and I was uh, a doctor. Then it was okay. And then, uh, because this, uh, I had uh, announced this uh, at Ciba in Basel, they sent me a contract so that uh, on the second of May, I could start again uh, uh, working uh, in the same department where I was cleaning the the animals. And I was leading three the three laboratories where we were we were doing experiments to measure blood pressure in animals in uh, in uh, rats and in dogs to to test the the the, the medicament so the the chemists were doing and this uh, went very well I then uh, I then uh, two years uh, later. Then the head of the department asked me, "Say, Leo, you you have uh, you have a very bad, uh, very good background. You could become uh, my successor here." I we were discussing this. What you have to do is to go to a place where they speak English and learn a little more English. And then, oh, okay, I do this very 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 uh, that is for me what i was i was uh, as i was uh, telling myself what you have to do and then uh, by the end of uh, october uh, 1980 we had in between we had our first uh, child, uh, child uh, marcella we went to new york because uh, uh, asked the, the university the university Cornell University in New York to if they had a place for me they say okay they can come and then uh, and then I went to meet Monica and the Marcella she was uh, 10 months old we went uh, to New York we 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 could live in a, in a house uh, uh, which was uh, from Ziba because Ziba is also the uh, also a, a unit in uh, Summit, uh, New Jersey, and in New York, and where we work on there. And then, <laughs> let me say this too, I remember the first day that was the, was the 2nd of November, 1981, 1980, uh, I went to, to it. It was uh, located, or is still located in New York, uh, Third Avenue, Sixth State Street, just very close to Central Park, and I I went I went first to the director of the institute, and then 
he introduced me to my then for, uh, later co uh, colleagues, and then uh, this was 1980, uh, and then say, hey, hey you, I have the pleasure to introduce you the godfather from Corleone, but he's a scientist as you. <laughs> and then, of course, I was laughing because, you know, you may know the story from the movie, from uh, Mo uh, the Marlo Brando, the movie The Godfather, and Marlo Brando's name was Don Corleone, because in my, my city, Corleone Mafia was uh, actually doing everything, including uh, politics. So then uh, uh, the, 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 the Marlo that was dead was called then Don Corleone. So, and then I, I studied there, we did a lot of works. We had also two scientific publications. No, we, and then by the end, uh, by the end of uh, 1981, no, exactly, uh, was the uh, end of uh, October 1981, we uh, went back to Basel. Uh, we had, uh, we had, uh, we received also from uh, the company an apartment, but we had to pay, of course, rent. And then I started uh, dealing, I uh, leading a group. Our our aim was uh, was to to discover uh, new uh, drugs able to reduce uh, blood pressure, high blood pressure, because uh, uh, people with the high blood pressure they have the problems with the diabetes. So this was a very important uh, topic, and then. I started dealing this, and uh, we were uh, we had some uh, fortune, but we was uh, very some lucky, and but also our, our knowledge, we came uh, across to to a category of uh, substances. They are called sartans, and they they are uh, are able. They were able to reduce to block defect of a hormone which is called angiotensin and angiotensin is uh, uh, very responsible to occlude the vessel so the pressure goes high and this uh, this new drugs were able to block this effect and reduce uh, reduce high blood pressure and actually then i have to say we were very 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 successful because we so just uh, in parentheses, if you if you would like to know all the, I have the 49 foot uh, scientific publications. Two of them are in Nature. Nature is a, a journal uh, in London, and people and all what is published in Nature is observed for the first time. So if you have the a paper in nature, you can say, I am a very good scientist. Okay, so that is just by. So then uh, we, did it, we did the work and then we were, were successful. Our, our compound was, uh, is now called the Diovan, D I A S O O N, Diovan. And, uh, by, and I can anticipate <laughs> and tell you by the end, by the end of uh, uh, 2022, the Diovan sales were worldwide 77 billions of dollars, billions, billions. And uh, of course, I got also some money and exactly five thousand uh, dollars. <laughs> But uh, I can I can tell you this too. When I received I I received an uh, a honor for being the best uh, the best researcher of uh, Novartis, and when uh, there was the ceremony to give me this honor, there was uh, the mass media and the uh, uh, government because it was a very big event. Then uh, the head of uh, Novartis at that time said, "It is a pleasure." to announce you today that the winner of our uh, prize, of our honor, 
is the Professor Dr. Luca Grishone. He was born he was born in Corleone, but I can tell you he's uh, a scientist and not a mafioso. <laughs> and <laughs> it was was that was very nice. Okay, that's that's very very nice. So then uh, this was, but then just then 2000, 2003, 2003, then uh, 2002, excuse me, uh, then when Sibagai, uh, the one company where I was working, and the Santos, the other company, from a third company in Basel, they, they emerged, and uh, they, uh, they, they decide, they decide to, to put the, the research together, where there was uh, more facilities and more people. So the group I was leading here in uh, in Basel was uh, was moved to summit <coughs> summit in uh, New Jersey, where I was when I went in ba in uh, New York, and then uh, the head of uh, and then I'm, I had uh, my kids. I had three three kids uh, at that time. They were uh, they were fifteen, uh, seventeen, uh, seventeen, seventeen. So we decided to stay in Basel uh, to do something else. Uh, and then what uh, I did was uh, was something of very importance. So I can uh, I can tell you. So at this time, my my work uh, of uh, head of research in a big pharmaceutical company was stopped. I had to stop it, and I I started work on a topic which was uh, very important for me. And uh, we had done us some work in this direction because uh, 1966, uh, I was interested in obesity, also uh, control of body weight. And uh, I, I, I had contact with uh, a company in uh, New Jersey, Syn Synaptic. Uh, they, were, ident they identified the 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 place in the body this is called the receptor where the main uh, appetite regulator which is called neuropeptide Y acts so I contact them and since they were not able to do the experiments I did the experiments at Ciba in Basel so what we we did is we we try to understand how how this works and how we we could stop so we're doing experiment in uh, rabbits, dogs, and uh, and monkeys as well, M small monkeys uh, called the marmoset. So we were actually uh, we identified this. We published this uh, 1966 in Nature. So I said, "Oh, you very important." So I have the Nature paper, and uh, as we were very successful, the company, the company, decide to devote 50% of, of the people working with me in trying to find the compounds able to block this uh, uh, appetite stimulating uh, uh, hormone and then come up with a drug able to reduce obesity and body weight. So we started a big work. We were about, uh, we were about 40 people I was uh, leading. And we were actually successful, I have to say. This is also published in, uh, you go in uh, Google or the Bing and you will find uh, all this. You just write my name, Leo Luca Crisione, and then you will find it. And then we, we started doing experiment in animals and the animals uh, uh, were eating less at the beginning. But then with the time, when uh, after the third or the fourth day, they start again eating in because the body uh, uh, reacted and they the body produced then more of, of this new peptide Y. So the effect the effect of uh, of the compound then uh, was gone, and then we had to stop to stop all activities. And actually, this app also because we published this in the in the many journals, many other companies. Uh, came up with the same results that uh, this is not able 
we were not able by blocking this new peptide Y to come up with a very effective uh, effective uh, anti obesity agent. Okay, so then when I uh, finished in at uh, Novartis, I decided to open a, a nutritionist uh, uh, office. I I hired three three nutritionists and we start helping people to 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 uh, manage their body weight. But of course, we, we did this in a very scientific way. Scientific way in managing uh, uh, body weight means that everybody has to know what is the capacity of the whole body to burn calories. And this is called resting metabolic rate. That means the calories a given body is able to burn in a given time. This, uh, this is uh, uh, like uh, the engine of uh, a car. You, have, you can have a car with the same, uh, with the same uh, carrossery, but uh, they have a different uh, engine. And this is very important. This is, uh, also, this is well known as it was, uh, uh, what, we, what we do is in this case, we just measure the amount of oxygen a given person is uh, breathing and the, the body, per 20 liter of oxygen you, you inhalated, the body burns 100 calories. So, if you, for example, if you, for example, in one hour, uh, under this condition, uh, burn these calories, you have a given enzyme and so on. And this is what we did. We, uh, we, uh, we had, I had then, as I uh, said before, uh, three nutritionists. One was uh, at the University of uh, of Germany and two and two in Basel, and uh, during the period of about uh, uh, six eight years, we had thousand two hundred people coming to us because we did a lot of the advertisement. Then when uh, when uh, oh, uh, excuse me, uh, I have maybe to go back and say this in nineteen ninety two, uh, just a uh, parenthesis. 90, in 1992, at the uh, International uh, Blood Pressure Congress in, in Madrid, I, gave, uh, I, gave, uh, I present our data, where about 5,000 scientists uh, uh, listening. Then by the end, uh, a person uh, contacted me and said, uh, uh, Leo Cusione, and I saw you are from Sicily, Corleone. This is very nice that you, you present very, very good data. And I would like to ask you if you can become professor at the University of, uh, of uh, Messina. Then I said, I said, okay, I, 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 I can do this. And then, uh, uh, Two weeks later, I went to to Messina. I was introduced to the director, and then and, and then I became for two year professor of pharmacology in Messina. Okay, that is was just uh, to mention this. So then we we did about uh, we had a very success with thousand two hundred people concerning uh, uh, body regulation and decrease in. Uh, in um, body weight for people who were obese. And uh, I presented then this data in Liverpool. Liverpool was the 20th uh, European Obesity Congress. I present this data of about uh, 1,200 people. And uh, well, our data were very, very well uh, accepted. And uh, uh, from 500 papers discussed, we we were number three, so we we're very 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 successful. Yeah, that is very very good. And uh, okay, then then I have to say that uh, because of this knowledge, then 2010, uh, one of my nutritionists and me, the one who was uh, at university in Germany, we wrote a book with the title, listen. Eating healthy and dying obese. 
you may laugh now, but that is like this because you know the body, the body cannot read. The body knows not what is uh, healthy and what is not healthy. The body understands uh, that it needs 50% of the daily food must be sugar, 30% uh, uh, fats and 20% proteins. That is all what the body understands. So we wrote this book, uh, first in German, then in Italian, and then in English. So we have all three languages. That is also, these are the three languages I try to speak well. And uh, we present this book uh, in Frankfurt. In Frankfurt, is, uh, each, year is, uh, each, each year is uh, a book uh, selling center. And we were number two, so it was very important. And that is uh, when then this book was published, I got uh, I got a, a phone call from uh, the University of uh, Arizona in uh, in Phoenix in, uh, in the United States. They were they read my our book. I said, well, we that is very nice, Dana. That is what we need because. We have developed a device which is able to measure oxygen and to then to detect the ability of a given person to burn to burn calories. They offered me the professor of University at Arizona University, and then I went there for three months. I instructed how all the people how it works, and then they. They came up with a device which is called breathing, breathing, and with uh, this device, which uh, now is uh, is uh, sold in, in in the states and is going to be sold also in in Europe. Uh, the device we were using in our in our in our praxis was uh, eight thousand uh, dollars costed, and this one now two hundred dollars. And then uh, they asked me now to to combine the the device with uh, with uh, with uh, with my book so that the people understand what is good. So that is life. Uh, now I am uh, 77. I am still okay, as you hear. That my voice is good. I live with my my wife uh, in uh, in. Uh, in a, in a kind of hotel, and my kids, my kids, they they are all university finished. The one Luca is now in the states and is uh, uh, interviewing uh, Swiss people. Who in the last century went uh, went to the states because uh, there was no work in uh, in Switzerland. My daughter Marcella, she has three kids, and uh, she she's married, and uh, works seventy percent. She was also at university, and the other Loris is working at uh, in a in a city close to Zurich, and they said of the people who advise people uh, who, who wish to learn a new a new job, what they can do. So that is all actually what I have to say. I wish you all the best. And now uh, to finish, since a couple of months, as uh, I have a very, a very long anti, anti mafia activity, there are a lot of journals, uh, articles in the mass media about me and about this my activity. I had now the the great pressure to meet uh, the people who we are doing this homepage and we are trying to invite other people to join us so that uh, uh, in the next future we can uh, beat our uh, mafia but that is hope and uh, let's see okay and then I sing you a Sicilian song which says Si marita u rosa sari de pipineda e yuca sunyu bedda 
mi voglio marita, la casa la io fatta, la doti la io magari, scheta non mi voglio stare, grannuzza su un'io già. So, this is a song which said from a young lady who would like to get married and ask the mother to find a nice young man to go with her. Take, take care, take care, oh, oh, take me home, country road, to the place I belong, West Virginia, mountains, mama, take me home, country road, let's go to Corleone and beat mafia, bye-bye, <laughs> ciao. <laughs>